Welcome to day 427 of our DSO journey. I'm Ed Krasenstein here with my twin brother, Brian. And remember, these videos are sponsored by NFT Tech. They are an investor in DSOFI. So Dow Dow has been launched for about 48 hours, not quite, but we're going on our second day. And I, I think people have really had time to kind of dig in and check out Dow Dow and getting some feedback. What are your thoughts so far? Yeah, I, I think so far, uh, I'm pleased. I, I think that they spent a lot of time getting this right. Uh, there, 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 there are bugs, uh, but like Natter said yesterday, uh, the money aspects of everything seem to be functioning properly, and that's the most important. I'm glad we're in beta so they can work out the kinks uh, before going live for everybody. Uh, but yeah, like like I, I'm actually really happy with the way it looks, the way it's working. Uh, I think that, like I said yesterday, there's a demand side problem because I don't think there's a lot of money in the DSO ecosystem right now to invest or to buy into Dow coins. So we're going to have to rely on a lot of outsiders. And that's not a bad thing. I just hope that they have a really strong marketing plan because I think that's going to be important. Yeah. And, you know, like I had a chance to kind of try, check out the trading platform, the uh, on-chain trading platform order book. And I like it. I do think there's some things missing, most notably the trade history. I think they need to have a trade history that shows, you know, it has to show the latest trades in order by time, you know, the newest ones at top. It has to have the time date of the trade as well as the volume traded or the trade size and the trade price. I think that's very important because people trading want to be like, okay, this has been trading for this. I should, I could probably sell it for this rather than just looking at the buy and the sells. And, you know, you don't know, like, are they actually, are these orders going through at this price or are they just kind of stagnant at these levels? Well, and you, you have the chart so you can see like at what prices it's traded at, but you don't know if one coin traded exactly. at, traded at that price or maybe a million coins. So I think that's information that you really need to have if you're a trader and you're trying to figure out, hey, where's this thing headed uh, based on uh, technicals rather than fundamentals. And even even like maybe a volume chart on overlaid on top of the trading chart would be interesting to yeah. see or even underneath it. Uh, but I, I think they're going to be doing stuff. They're going to be adding features like this. But so far, so good, in my opinion. Uh, we do see stuff, that some of these Dow coins trading on the on the order book exchange. So that's it's kind of exciting. But anyhow, Dow Dow held a Twitter Spaces yesterday, and both of us were able to listen to that. Uh, it was interesting, and yeah. I'd, I'd say about ninety to hundred people were there at all times. It was probably around ninety-one or so most of the time. Uh, Mossified and Natter discussed their vision of Dow Dow. Also, Dow HQ. Co representatives from this company were also there, and. If you don't know what Dow HQ is, which you probably don't because I didn't before I listened to the talk, it's a Dow platform that it, it essentially lists various Dows. And currently there's 938 Dows listed on the platform. And talks last night seem to seem to imply that they're integrating with DSO in some ways. They're big fans of the, uh, the on-chain communities that can take place. So... If they can integrate somehow and maybe bring some of those DAOs onto the DSO blockchain, I think that would be great for DAO DAO. Yeah, and it's a really cool company. It's actually two uh, Harvard dropouts who uh, formed this company, uh, DAO HQ, and they raised, I think, $1.3 million. And they've been pulling up information and kind of aggregating data from all these other DAOs on other chains. But... I think Dow Dow just changes everything. And I think it's a great opportunity for for them to kind of bring Dow Dow and bring DSO onto their site and, and integrate in some way because I think there's power in the social aspects of it all. Yeah, and also at the uh, at the Twitter Spaces event, Arts was there, of course, from Social Capital. Uh, it was good to see him there. Also, Natter said, Natter kind of, made an analogy i guess not an analogy he said dow dow is equal to reddit plus kickstarter plus coinbase and i think when you when it really comes down to it he's right on there 
Yeah. And, and, and I, I think he basically said like, Hey, Coinbase, like any, like you can basically create your own coin. So these coins listed on Dow, Dow, it kind of makes it kind of a, like a Coinbase because you have this order book, just like Coinbase does for all of these Dow coins. And then Kickstarter, obviously the raising of money from, from groups, uh, it's, it's crowdfunding. Uh, that's, the Kickstarter aspect and Reddit, of course, is the social aspects of it. And I wouldn't say that that Dow Dow is really like Reddit right now. It's more just a comment. You can comment on on the uh, on the Dow's. You don't really have like thread. You don't have like like threaded topics and posts and stuff. But it definitely has aspects of Reddit. And who knows? We might see something like that in the future. I wonder if there's going to be a way to integrate. Say you're already a Dow. Say you're on Dow HQ, you're already a Dow, you listed there. You have an Ethereum ERC twenty token. Are you going to be able to create a profile on Dow Dow and allow for your ERC twenty tokens to be traded on the order book exchange? Hmm. I I don't think there's anything like that planned yet, but that doesn't mean that they don't have that in in mind. Like I I remember Natter talking about one of the reasons they changed the um the what was the term they used for the amount of decimal places, the smallest unit of, of, uh, Dow, 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 Dow coins were in. And they changed that to match the ERC 20 nanos, the nanos, the nanos were changed to match ER, the ERC 20 tokens, which I think is probably foreshadowing a plan to allow for ERC 20s to trade on the order book exchange at some point in time. Yeah, I mean, that's very possible. I mean, it's also possible they wanted to kind of like go along with what people are used to and people are used to the number of nanos on ERC-20 on Ethereum that it made sense to not confuse people more by changing things up. I, I don't know. An another point brought up during the Twitter space was Natter reconfirmed, or I guess he confirmed that the DSO Foundation currently holds 4,000 Bitcoin in their treasury. Uh, if you add this to if you multiply that by approximately thirty thousand dollars, you will get one hundred twenty million dollars. So they have about one hundred twenty million dollars held in Bitcoin at the current time. Yeah, and and I I mean they have to have some cash as well. I, I think they sold about five hundred Bitcoin a couple of months ago at around forty thousand dollars. That's another twenty million. Whether they spent most of that or not, who knows? Uh, and whatever other cash they had on their books. But yeah, I, I mean, we know there's at least $120 million uh, in the DSO Foundation right now. That's a ton of legroom. Uh, it really kind of extends their runway uh, through the crypto winter, no matter how long it lasts. If it lasts three years, I think we're still in, in good hands with that kind of uh, balance. Yeah, exactly. So Dow Dow's funding round has been delayed. So funding was actually supposed to open up today for Dow Dow on Dow Dow. Dow Dow, the Dow 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 on Dow Dow. The funding was supposed to open today. It's been delayed and it now says about four hours and five, four days and five hours left, which would take the opening of the new funding round. Of course, if you bought the NFT, you could, you funded it before the funding round began, but the new funding round will begin at 3 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, May 31st. If plans stay, I know Mossified said he's going to make an official announcement about this sometime today, so we look forward to that. But waiting four days, I don't think that's a big problem. Yeah, and remember, you can always buy them on the order book if you want to. The price is a little bit higher than they will be when they go for sale uh, in the next round. But uh, if you are kind of chomping at the bit to get in you can still buy them in the open order book yeah and you know i i placed an order on there this morning to see how that went uh fifty thousand dow dow coins we have listed uh it, it's interesting because now i see i list them at 0 0.29 0 0.02999 us dollar so 2.999 cents but the price has actually gone up on the ask and it's still our order. I guess it's fluctuating with the price of the value of DSO. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Uh, so Kitty4D, uh, she gave a really good suggestion about DAOs, uh, about the setup of the DAO, DAO page. 
Uh, and, and I just want to repeat it because, because I, I like the suggestion and she, she suggested that they're, they categorize listings. So maybe when you made a post, there was a field to, uh, put, select your category. So, and her suggestions for categories, and these are just rough suggestions, according to her, uh, would be one DAOs that are for fun. So maybe you just want to do something fun. That's not going to generate any revenue, uh, might not really be a fundraiser, uh, you could post it as for fun. Then number two would be a fundraiser for a communal goal. So maybe you want to create something community oriented around DSO that everybody can benefit with. Uh, you could select that category. Then she said, number three, a fundraiser for a DAO owner's goal. So maybe I have a goal. Hey, I want to buy a new production studio so that I can start making better videos. Uh, that could be under that category. And then, of course, serious businesses would be the fourth one. And that could be for actual businesses that could offer some sort of equity, some sort of uh, revenue stream, have, have really good voting rights and all of that. So I, I think something like that would be really good because it would allow us to sort. So I'm sure there's a lot of people who are coming on your data and they're like, hey, I, I really want to buy into DAOs of actual businesses where I can actually reap benefits and the Dow coin is going to go up based on the profitability of the company, the fundamentals of the company, then you could just select that box and it would bring up all DAOs that are in that category. Uh, and and I, I think that we could expand upon it. We could have other categories as well uh, and maybe even nested categories for maybe mm -hmm. businesses that are related to to uh, the blockchain or businesses related to sports, stuff like Movie that. Movie production, you know, like you have, you know, things like that. I, Nat, Natter's a big fan of talking about movie production in DAOs, like creating a DAO to create a movie. And I think that's something we could see a lot of potential in. Yeah, for sure. So so I, I love that suggestion, Kitty4D. Uh, keep the suggestions coming because I know the core team is listening. Uh, there is actually a suggestion uh, Google document out there where if you do have a suggestion, an added feature, some a problem, you can actually post it on that. Uh, but, yeah, it's, uh, it's there's actually a form posted by Mossified on the Discord. You, f you can just fill out the form and it automatically adds it to the spreadsheet. So definitely check that out if you have some ideas. Yeah, and so moving on, uh, Dow Dow obviously isn't the only Dow on Dow Dow. Uh, Overclout another big one, uh, they had a big announcement this morning and they said that 40, <laughs> excuse me, uh, 44, 441,400 overclock coins have been distributed to holders of the NFTs that they, they released, the clout tickets that they called them. Uh, they've actually raised 1,765.6 DSO, which is around $18,000 or so. Which is which is pretty good. I, I know that they they needed the funding. They were looking for funding. This is definitely a strong start for them to continue to build. And and Don Hardman is doing an incredible job doing building on not too much funding. So I, I'm sure that eighteen thousand dollars will go a long way. Uh, they said that as for now, uh, they've they've launched the main stage of DAO, of the DAO on DAO DAO. Uh, and you can join in. Uh, it's just beta.dao.io front slash D front slash overclout. Uh, they're preparing a one pager uh, as well as an article about the key features of uh, future onboarding on overclout, uh, as well as the value of the DAO coin. Um, it's still early, they said. They said, stay tuned. But uh, I love what they're doing. Uh, great job, Don Hartman. And, and this is one of the business, business related DAOs that are out that, there that users should be able to participate in, have voting rights, and I'm guessing earn revenue as the node earns re revenue. Yeah, and uh, Overclouds off to a great start. It's going to be fun to see how their funding round goes. Yeah, and also Supernova's, uh, their DAO, uh, they, they had some news as well. Um, they said that their early bird to token auction is now live. Uh, you can get to it on supernovas.info front slash Dow Dow. Uh, they said for now it's open only exclusively to their pre-sale NFT uh, and creator coin holders. So if, if that's you uh, you're and you're wondering how to access supernovas on Dow Dow, uh, they said to check your DMs. 
uh, you hold the keys in the DM. Yeah, and love for SRC is going with the root of the DAO as well. Uh, they've set their founder reward to 100%. So if you own any creator coins in love for SRC, you can send them to love for SRC and you will receive the equivalent in DAO coins back to you. So definitely do that if you're interested. Uh, love for SRC, another great node by Kanshi. And it's a, it's a great node. I, I think what he does with it is very unique. So just another, another one you can kind of invest some time and money into to help them build out even better. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I love how we're starting to see like really, really cool DAOs already springing up. Um, like I said earlier, uh, it's, it's kind of a demand side issue. That's why some of these DAOs aren't raising a tremendous amount of money, but I think as we move forward and as the DAO DAO name kind of spreads outside of DSO, we're going to see a lot of people come on. And when they come on, they're probably going to want to turn to some of these original DAOs that have some traction and have some staying power. So uh, it might be slow now, but hopefully that picks up over the coming weeks. Yeah, I, I think it will. One, once it launches, and I think once DAO DAO starts their marketing efforts, we're going to see people come in and invest in some of the DAOs that are already here. At least that's what my hope is. Yeah, we hope. So, so if you visited any of the GD virtual galleries, galleries, especially the D social world one, you will notice a little character that just dances around your screen. Uh, and that's MCAT. It's like this little dancing cat that appears to be dressed like an astronaut. I guess that's the best way to explain it. Uh, there's multiple of them in some of GD virtual galleries, galleries. The social world has is a prime example of that. I know seals, they, they're going to have these little guys in theirs as well. Um, but these are the, actually the mascot NFTs of XR Metaverse RO. So Metaverse RO, they're the mascots of them. They're augmented reality cats. But XR Metaverse RO is actually holding a contest right now. And we can win some prizes. So... If you're interested, check out the link above this video or below if you're on YouTube. What, I, I just love what they're doing with these little AR cats. Uh, they're in the virtual gallery, so you can kind of interact with them, which is really cool. So check it out. It's, it's really interesting. Yeah, I love, I, love, I love this project as well. Uh, so the top hashtags uh, over the last 24 hours, uh, according to Open Prosper, are DSO. NFT, Bitcoin, crypto, and NFTs. So all ones we've seen in the past. I'm surprised Dow Dow is not up there, but uh, I guess NFTs and crypto and Bitcoin uh, are more popular right now. Yeah. And w who were the top diamond creators of the last 24 hours, Brian? Yeah. So thanks to Alton Base for providing us with this list. Uh, the top diamond creators over the last 24 hours are Shady Acres followed by Krasenstein, us, followed by MTK Matt, uh, Kako Sar Sara NFT, Oim Longs, Altum Base, the creator of this list, John Jarden, who's doing some pretty cool DAO stuff himself, yes. uh, It's Aditya, Photographer's Corner, and Mario Knockoff, who yeah, uh, and I think was in... in uh, uh, Davos, Dave, Dave, I don't even know how I'm pronouncing it. Uh, the billionaire, uh, where all the billionaires congregated to uh, discuss the future of the economy and technology. And he said that there's a lot of uh, a lot of crypto talk. Yeah, I'm sure there is. He and also said cabs were $500 an hour. Holy cow, that's crazy. But it's a DJ also started a DAO to help fund some of his projects. Definitely check that one out as well. It's just it's a DJ DAO, I believe. But welcome back to Fede. According to Open Prosper, Fede had been gone for 93 days. Uh, he came back to DSO yesterday. And the only action that he took was that he accepted an NFT transfer. So whether he's back for good or he's just checking in and saw he had an NFT transfer and decided to accept it, I don't know. But that's all the news we have for today, and we will talk to you, everybody tomorrow. I'm sure we'll talk more about Dow Dow and all the happenings on there.